Hey everyone, so we have a question from a user on the marketing subreddit. The user appears to be she cat new. And the question is CEO of a 4.0 small company, I, I presume that means four person uh, small company wants a digital marketing plan, uh, not paid advertising on social or search engine with exact profit returns. How do you do that? So um, I, I can't tell you exactly the details, but what I can tell you is a plan on how to get there. Um, the first step is a develop a digital marketing plan and develop a strategy. And the strategy uh, comes in a couple of different elements. The first is define who your customers are, what their interests are, why they purchase, identify the solution that you're solving for, uh, and how you can uh, align with the customer's needs. Identify when you know you're talking to a potential customer, right? Like what data signal identifies them as your customer. So that's step one. Step two, determine whether or not you have time or money. You've already said you don't want to run paid media. Um, so uh, that eliminates money. So you have time. And time says that you're going to run um, value-driven content marketing. And value-driven content marketing is really about um, understanding what your customers want, understanding the challenges that your customers solve for, and then um, taking action on those on, on that strategy, identifying what your customers want, and then giving them that in all the places where they are. So the places where they are, you have free uh, distribution on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on TikTok, on LinkedIn, on Quora, on Twitter and YouTube, right? So define where your customers are. If they're younger, they're on TikTok or Snapchat. If they're older, they're on Facebook and Instagram. If they're business related, they're probably on Twitter and LinkedIn. Those are, um, those are points of view that are uh, general, they're headline, right? So uh, you can find young people on Snapchat. You can find um, older people like me, I'm 38, on TikTok, right? But these are general general norms. Uh, identify what type of content you want to create. If you don't know, start creating all of it and see which one works. So you can write articles, value-driven articles. If you go to my LinkedIn page, you can see what I write about. Um, I write about content marketing for my business because I think it's helpful for other business owners to know the types of things that we do uh, and to share our um, experience. Um, you can make videos that uh, show how your product is being used or anything that's tangentially related to your product so uh, if you're a if you're a protein if you sell protein products talk about healthy lifestyles we're an advertising firm and we talk sometimes about advertising and we talk sometimes about content marketing because those two are inherently related especially for our audience which are business owners entrepreneurs and um, senior executives right so identify the tangential information that's relevant to your product, if it doesn't, if it's hard to create content that's directly related, and create lots of that. I mean, you should be creating 100 pieces of content a day, and they can be curated from other existing content and reshared on your channels. They can be uh, short, little, you know, uh, an image with a quote on it. Um, they can be videos. They can be write-ups they can be whatever you think it is and, and the the benefit of this process is um, you get an opportunity to identify what your customers want from you like what works what doesn't wh why wh when people respond what are they responding to and you can start to do more of that and you'll get real marketplace feedback about what your customers want so once you've done that you can then look at engagement and the number of times people click on your content and call you or they look at your content and they come they look at your site visit you know you look at your google analytics and look at site visitation so if you're if you are 100 percent unwilling to run paid media which i fully understand um, then you are looking for macro level trends to determine performance and uh, the closer you are to getting those trends right, the more likely you are to be able to find a scalable, repeatable, and predictable methodology to drive your business forward. What I recommend 
is running a small uh, spend of remarketing ads. So once a user goes to your site, um, that they continuously see your ads on Facebook and Instagram, on banners, on your best performing videos, etc. Right. So you want a consistent reminder about your product and service because in 2019 and going to 2020, there's a lot of information being passed around and it's hard to keep someone's attention. So you have to kind of remind them a little bit with different messages. So once you know that every time you post, for every 100 posts on LinkedIn uh, or Twitter or wherever, you're going to get 100 visitors to your site. And if you know that those 100 visitors, five of them will turn into a sale, now you have a predictable, repeatable methodology that you can deploy uh, and you can, give your, you can give your CEO. So if you have that information, you have the ability to give a digital marketing plan uh, with exact profit returns. If you don't have that information, I would um, share with your CEO this video and uh, or consult with me uh, for free. We'll be happy to talk to you um, about how to kind of communicate that and then give it three months and then you'll have a repeatable, scalable and predictable methodology to grow your business and actually have a return on ad spend. So, for example, I'll give you some some ideas of what's happened with us like we provide um, free consultation services and you know we've w I've had calendar days full of um, full of time on my calendar where people can connect with me um, and my calendar is calendly.com slash Robert Brill and people make appointments and we talk we have really interesting conversations and it sets a framework and a foundation for um, for doing what content marketing is supposed to do is provide value to a set of constituents without asking for anything in return. And that's what we're doing. So um, I hope this is helpful. Thanks.